my girls. Hello. Hello, everybody. I am getting ready to show you guys some lampshades. <laughs> I have, I went upstairs and I pulled a bunch of lampshades out. Um, and I thought I would show you guys what I got going on. Um, yeah. So let me just get going here. My name is Tammy Neff, and you're on my page called Tammy Loves, where I love to bring you everything that I love, and I'm hoping that you love it too. So I thought I would show, well, let's start out first of all with the, um, the shade that I made the other night, and this one's so different from what I typically make, and I told you guys that while I was making it. So I thought I would show you what I typically do. Um, and then we're going to make a denim lampshade. So I know a couple of you wanted to see that I told you I was gonna be making one. So this was a military shade that I that I did the other night on a live. If you wanna see how I did it, um, look back through the Tammy Loves Facebook page and see if you can't find it there. Um, and then I finished the inside. I, I went ahead and put a little trim on the inside and I like that better than just having it cut kind of cut how you guys saw it. And I did get the belt on. The belt almost didn't reach, so I used some E6000 right on that edge where it's touching so that it's not floppy. And um, this is what I this is what I came up with. So, and then as I looked at it for a few days, I didn't love the paper, the his payroll book with the picture on it. So, oh my goodness, there's my daughter Summer. Hi, love. Hi, honey. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> I miss you. Um, so I took the book off and I added these little military buttons that I um, that I had. So they're not officially his, but I didn't love the book. I'm going to send the book with the lampshade back to the fellow that this uniform belonged to, well, his family. And um, anyway, so this is what we have. And I absolutely think it turned out really great. Oh, honey. Hi, Abby. Oh, my gosh. You're all on here. Hi, girls. I miss you both. I hope you guys are staying safe. Happy to know you're home watching your phone instead of out running around. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is some of these lampshades um, that I typically make. Now this is more like what you would see. Um, thanks, honey. This is typically what you would see out of me. Um, crystals and jewels and, and the, of course, my infamous muslin shreds, right? You can't go wrong with muslin shreds. And I love to hang these as a grouping. They're hanging over my daughter's bed right now. Um, here's one. Here's another one that I took down. They, I don't have them electri electrified. They're just there for looks. Um, these are in Abby's room. Um, let's see. So, and this, I've got it upside down. So I kind of, it needs fixed, but, but you get the idea here. I turned it upside down when I carried it down the steps. Um, so, oh gosh, I got a mess. Whoops, I really got a mess. Whoops, <laughs> I really got a mess. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. I have prisms that hang out of the bottom. I haven't touched these in forever. Okay, here's another prism coming down. So I have several prisms, except I just lost them. <laughs> that hang out like that okay so then if you can picture these two hanging in a group you know kind of to get well together for sure that's that's one thing I got going on and then let me show you another one this one turned out really sweet I don't want to step on these prisms hang on a minute let me move those out of the way I'll have to put those back on I love how this one turned out I think this one's adorable. It also hangs in Abby's room, so that's my little cluster, right? Super cute. So all you do is deconstruct your lampshades. Take a look, make sure they have some ribs. If they are a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom, no good. You can't do anything with them, um, not really. You can deconstruct it and use the ring and hang, just hang some shreds down from it, but you really, you really need the framework to do anything. And then this, I just twirled the, muslin and then rolled it in a roll you guys have seen me do that before so anyway those are my typical type lampshades here are some more let me show you some more um this one is a bigger one that i have loved for a long long time beautiful this is just like the bot i don't know if this was off of a dress or a curtain i'm thinking maybe like a baby um crib you know um like a bassinet that looks like a bassinet Thing to me I don't know what it is but it's all um, all my handmade lace that I love all my vintage stuff right okay so that's 
that's this one. And you guys, you can electrify these. They have cords. I have several um, that I can sell you. They're eight something a piece, so say $9. And you, you clamp it to your shade, and then it's got a hook. You draw it up, mount it to the ceiling, then it's got like a, it's like a super long cord, and you hook it at the, at the corner, and then down the wall, and you plug it in. And so I have those if you guys want to electrify one of your lampshades that you're making. Um, and then here's another, just a simple, this one obviously is just a simple one, but it does have the ribs. It's fun to try to decide what you want to do, but there's, there's the lamp rib. There's several in here. One, two, what well, doesn't matter, but can't find them. They're in there. And then here's another one in the same line. So these hang in a different room together because they kind of match. So I have three. So anyway, I use all of my handmade lampshades. They're all throughout um, throughout my house and I still have another kind that I do where what I'm gonna show you oh, Let me see if I can get you down here. I, oh gosh, my last video is standing up. I guess hang on <laughs> My last video I had this set different for my online group. There we go. Okay, must have been dancing for him, right? <laughs> I'm not telling you because <laughs> What we do in there stays in there, right? No, I wasn't dancing. I promise I don't know why I had it standing up. But so anyway, I, so I love to take lampshades like this and make them look like those. But today, just to be different, I don't know why I'm shaking everything up. Um, the material I use, Terry, is all the uh, muslin shreds. Um, so you just buy muslin, like curtain liner, and snip it and rip it. Um, like I keep some on a hook here, uh, just for me to work with. I've got lace mix. These are from the kites that I made. Um, the spring kites in our online group. I know I've sold a couple when I showed them, but um, just muslin shreds ripped. Um, you can also oh, you can also stain them. I put this in tea um, like three nights ago, I think. It's still a little damp. Put them in tea, wrung them out, wadded them up, wrapped rubber bands around them so that they get all wrinkly and and all the stain hits differently. And then I put them on the heater or you can set them outside, but it took a couple of days. They still feel a little bit damp, so I've had them just laying on my table, but all of the wrinkles are in there really good. So you can darken it or lighten it, however, you, not, not lighten it. You could darken it, well, I suppose you could lighten it if you bleach it. I think you can get white muslin too, or you can just cut up bed sheets. They're a little stringier uh, bed sheets, so when you rip them, like, let me show you. So I'll rip, this one's kind of a fat shred. This has nothing to do with what I got on here to do. I can't believe my kids were on here. That's pretty cool. I'm sure they're long gone by now. Mom doesn't thrill them for very long. <laughs> so, but see how I just started the little tear, the little snip, and then you pull. And then, well, this isn't very stringy, but typically, yeah, this isn't stringy at all, but tip, here's a few maybe, but the, these don't bother me, but so they get some strings sometimes like that and you just pull the strings off and throw them away so once you once i make my shred i usually run my hand down it um you know i just i just kind of pull and get all the strings off and then i leave a little ball of strings laying there um so that's how you do the muslin shreds anyway but yeah it's muslin okay so let's get started on this denim one you guys are gonna love this because everybody has jeans everybody has a lampshade they're probably sick of um, so I thought I would do a really quick little thing here for you guys. Oh, let me see. Get you down just a bit farther. Look at my fingernails growing out. I've, I've sawed them off twice to shorten them and they're growing out. I thought, well, oh man, what between my roots and my hair and my nails, I figure you guys can just watch my nails grow right on every video. <laughs> We'll do, we're in this together, girls. We're in this together for sure. So, all right. What I did was I cut up, um, when my kids lived here, you know, I've got all of their jeans. I have all of my jeans that I don't want anymore. So I cut them up all different, um, all different ways. This one, I let the little pockets kind of show. This is just the back pocket of one of the jeans. This is just a patch. This is a size tag. Here's a Levi's tag. Here's a zipper. I know I'm going fast, but some care, some don't care. Um, here's a waistband. Um, so I could put it like the Calvin Klein side out if I want, or the belt loop side out. Here's just another piece. Oh shoot, I meant to grab some more because I'm not sure I have enough. Oh no, I forgot. 
I've only made a hundred trips up and down the steps because I'm gonna make my tassels. You guys, um, I've had three people want me to make a tassel for them, so I thought I'll do a tassel online next. Um, I'll get off of this and start another whole video. But so I've been running up and down. My table is full. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you all my. Like I have all that is for tassels, <laughs> so I hardly have any room to work here. Um, yeah, and all those trips, I forgot that piece of denim. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have here. Shoot, I wish I had that though. See, I need you kids to come home so you can run and get something when mama, mama needs it. <laughs> when your mama needs it, go get it. Ah, oh, that stinks. So, all right. So, I was thinking about putting something like this at the top um because i think that's really cute and just like the um army guys collar it fit perfect at the top so i was thinking about doing that up here because this is just a perfect fit for this particular lampshade so knowing that i only need things to cover low um, i would say that this big patch could go on over here and I've got to decide if I want to leave, like how do I want to finish the bottom? Um, so let's get this patch on first. I think we're gonna go with this. And I love all of the strings. I mean, that's just how your jeans are, right? They're just all stringy and, and a mess. I'm gonna cut this off because it's definitely too high. Okay, yeah, I wish, I so wish I had that another piece and I've got to decide I mean how's that gonna look hanging down outside of the lamp I don't know I think it might be kind of cool because I'm gonna have it just be a messy mess anyway um run get what you need oh Cindy I'd love to but I thank you Tammy I should but it's okay because you girls are fine but there's people that would drop like flies if I did that and <laughs> be mad at me get your stuff together it's fine. I'm, I'll, it'll be fine. If not, I'll, I'll let it fall short and I'll patch it in later. So, okay, I'm going to lay this. Thank you, though. Okay, I'm going to lay this on here just like I did the other night. I should have let it sit a little bit, but it's really sticky, very sticky. Okay, so I need the bottom of that um, pocket because that's the very bottom. And I want all the shreds out. Okay, and then I'm gonna crease it down here. Ran up your kids to make sure they had food. Come home. Oh, shame on me. I know, I ran to the grocery yesterday. and But I did take some stuff to my mom too, so she needed some eggs. Or was that the day before? Maybe that was the day before. I don't even know. These days are running together. Was it yesterday? I don't even know. Even thinking about it, I don't know. Don't worry, kids, if you're still on there. <laughs> Your mom's not totally losing her mind. I just literally can't remember. I think it was yesterday. I'm trying to think of what I know what I wore yesterday. Hmm, I don't know. That didn't even help me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have that much on. Hi, Elena. She's my new online BFF. Hey, girl. I met her, what, not very long ago online here. We've also been doing a lot of chatting. She's been ordering a lot of things and been a new, a new friend for sure. Okay, so now see, so I put the pocket on first so it would be underneath. See that? So I wanted that pocket underneath it all. So then that covers all really nice. And I love that side of the shade, that's super cool. So now what I have to do is I just, in my mind, kind of wanted to see from where to where. So I just really need denim for right here. So I think I'm gonna use this piece right here that's different, and I'm just going to adhere that just to fill in. And I do not need that piece that I was going upstairs for. I'll be it. I'm glad, yay. So no, not to worry, okay. So, I, so in case for those of you that didn't see the other video, I'm just using Super 77. It has been a whirlwind, you're right. She's got some beautiful daughters too. Um, 
and they're like seven and a half years apart. So Helena and I have a lot in common. My girls are seven years apart. So um, Super 77, I know that's backwards. I didn't flip my camera. I wasn't thinking I was showing you anything with words, but that's all I'm using. And it's just a spray adhesive. You can get it. Um, most hardware stores will have it. Lowe's, any craft stores, you know, everybody carries Super 77. It's just a, an adhesive. An adhesive. <laughs> Sound like I was have a big accent there. Okay. I'm trying to get as much bang out of this as I can. Okay. So then you just lay the sticky down. I'm going to have to cut some of that off because I don't want that overhanging. That's not frayed out and cool looking. And then you just let this, the Super 77 is all that I use to tack it on. Now you will find me. Oh, you like that? Thank you, Elena. Elena, thank you. Um, you love, <laughs> yeah, it's, it was, it's exactly right. You sell them for a couple bucks in a yard sale. You might as well do something like this. It'll be cute for their room, cute for a dorm, just, just something different. Um, yeah, cute for a basement, like a, like a, a rec room type setting. You, you probably wouldn't want a denim lampshade in most living rooms. But hey, if you do, it's your living room. You do what you want. I'll help you make it pretty, whatever you want in there. We'll make it, we'll make it work for sure. Okay, so that's rough because I'm, I'm gonna be covering that and I think I know what I'm gonna use. So I'm, I think, let's see, let me see. So I definitely know that I want this and I love that denim under there because you really see the pockets. So I love that. Okay, so I need, I need some little patchy pieces here. Here's a patch. Um, where will that give me the most coverage? Oh, over here I think is where I need it the most. So let's put that over here. Again, I'm just gonna super 77. Yeah, so if you guys aren't doing anything in a little bit, I'm gonna come back on here soon and put um, put a tassel together. I've got some here I can show you what I'm talking about. I, I love, love, love my tassels. My friend Julie and I, when we've been antique shopping, we found uh, tassels somebody had made and fell in love with them and had to figure out how to do them. And, you know, tassels are all very popular right now. So uh, that beeping is my driveway alarm. And I don't listen to it anymore because, well, I do somewhat, but it's usually an animal, a cat or a deer or a squirrel or something running by. Okay, I'm gluing that down because it was not sticking. It's so thick and so many layers. So I did glue that one spot. Actually, I think I'm gonna glue right here as well. It's just hard. That Super 77 is pretty pretty good adhesive, but um, you know, you could still take all of this off, take it apart, so it's not the it's, it's it's good for what I'm using it for, but you couldn't glue things together with it, you know? You wouldn't be able to glue things together. Oh, the, yeah, I think you only sent me a picture of the one, but yeah, she was beautiful, standing by her new car. It's awesome. Okay, so let's see again now where we are. And again, you guys, this isn't my typical, you know, usually I'm doing things with antiques, but you know, I love other things too. It doesn't always have to be antique -y. All right, so loving that side. Still working over here, obviously. I don't have it done. Um, <clears throat> so I think, yeah, I think that zipper will go over top there. That'll look great. I love that. And then I have another zipper. Maybe I'll put that on this side. That'll be good. Okay. Oh, it was my husband. There was somebody out there. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hey. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll put that patch there. Oh, yeah. I'm good shape. I didn't really even need that. I'm in good shape. Okay. All right. So let's get, I think I'm going on top now. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down next. You grew up in South Africa. Oh, yes. We talked about that. That's so weird that you wouldn't have animal in your yard in South Africa. I would think it would be full of big, you know, big animals. 
We talked about that because my mom lived there for a couple of years, if you remember. Okay, so I'm gonna super 77. First, I'm gonna glue, uh, I'm gonna sticky the pockets down so that they're laying a little more neatly. Okay, and then I'll glue this pocket down a little bit as well. Again, this, I don't do a lot of ironing, so <laughs> you can ask my mom. Now, I do a lot more ironing than my kids, though. I can tell you that much. Right, girls, if you're still on here? Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I know I'm going to end it over here. So I'm gonna put the center straight across from that pocket and we're gonna wrap it around here. Now well, there it goes again. That thing goes off. See why I don't pay Is attention to it? Is package supposed to be out? Not until morning. It's somebody bought something. I'm shipping it to her. Okay. So I'm just pulling and stretching and getting these things to lay. You know how we always yank on our jeans when we're putting them on, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to get them on. <laughs> this is real life. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down. I wish, that, I wish it would go all the way up, but it's wanting to go down, so we'll have to do something else here. All right. I have a whole box full of denim. I did a backdrop once out of denim and I had, I kept all of the little, you know, the little buttons. I have a lot of little things like that. It's in my storage in a, in a room. I wish I had that, but there goes that button again. Thing goes off all day long. But my husband likes it, so we keep it. Okay. Oh my gosh. There it goes again. Are you in here? Do you hear that? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to glue that down here. Like that. Okay. So I'm getting everything all situated. Now, I don't like this edge, so I'm gonna see if I can't tuck that under a little bit. Let's see here. Okay. Oh shoot, I just got glue where I didn't want it. Okay, so I'm hold, let me hold this down here. Ironing is overrated, that's exactly right. <laughs> Have to ask her where. Um, golly. Uh, oh gosh, it's been a long time ago. I will have to ask her. I don't know if she's on or not. Nancy Brewer is her name. If you happen to see her in there, you can ask her. Do you remember where mom lived in South Africa, Randy? Uh, outside of Johannesburg. Oh, yes, just outside of Johannesburg. That's right. She was just outside of Johannesburg. Okay. All right. So, oh, isn't it cute? I mean, it's not done, of course, but so cute. It's coming. It's coming along. So, this one won't take nearly as long as the other, um, the other one did the other day. I'm spraying more Super 77 on this piece, and I might as well go ahead and spray it on this other zipper piece. This makes you look at your old jeans in a whole different way, doesn't it? <laughs> like, okay. That's my goal, to make you look at all kinds of things in a different way. So, put this, there goes his phone. Put this here. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue here just to hold it down. Just reinforcing wherever it seems to be kind of lifting a little bit let's see i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and glue this i don't know why just because it feels like it's heavy and then this little flap is really heavy so i'm gonna just stick some glue in there 
Okay, I'm pressing it down. So I'm not gluing all the way around, I'm just kind of gluing wherever it's lifting. I'm being more careful and respectful on the other one. Yes, the other one was for someone, this one isn't. I'm just making this one to put in my antique booth probably. <laughs> I put a lot of crafty things in there, so yeah, I don't care about this one so much. The other one, you know, when you're doing something for someone else, of course it's always gotta be a little better than what you might do for yourself. Okay, yeah, th actually this could go, dang, that almost goes all the way around, but am I gonna have the same issue as I had with that belt the other night, trying to make it lay? Um, I don't know, if so, I could just cut some off, right? I could, I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, whoops, I've got this. Oh yeah, so I'm definitely gonna cut some off because I was gonna put this over here somehow, some way. Actually, I think I'm gonna go right here. Okay, so I want it to hang over just a bit. I'm gonna hang down just a bit. So I'm gonna glue that because it's not wanting to stick. Since it's curled up, it didn't get the spray on it. So there's that. Getting it down as best I can, and then I'm gonna come back up here and just tack it on, just for, just to be sure. Zip the zipper up. <laughs> okay, I've already glued that, so let me just hold it down until it kind of grabs. Cute. Now I don't know how do I feel about the pockets. I'm still a mess down there yet. I'm not sure. Okay, let's keep going though. Not quite ready to give up yet, right? Oops. Well, if I do that, let's see, then I really lose the pocket. Yeah, I'm losing my pocket. Oh well, it's okay. I thought that was a cute idea, but maybe not necessarily. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go. Yeah, I don't know about the two tags together. Let's see what else we got here. Let me, let me think about this. What did I do with the big long? Oh here, it's still over here, okay. Let's see what happens when I get that on first. So I'm gonna cover up the Calvin Klein side, but you could leave that side out, whatever you wanna do. I kind of just like the belt loops myself, I think. All right, so I have the most ground to cover over here. So I'm going to um, put it there. And oh, oh, you're sticking to my, Okay, and then as long as it's going to lay well, I'll go, whoop, whoop, that belt loops up, but I'm gonna keep it. Well, actually I could take the belt loop on a different, on the other side. So let's keep the belt loop. Dang, these scissors are not cutting. They weren't cutting that other belt yesterday or whenever I did that other video. There we go. I have to get some more scissors. <laughs> something a little better. Okay, I'm gonna tack this belt loop down. It's starting to come undone. So instead of sewing, I'm just gonna glue it because I just told you I do not like sewing and I meant it. I really, really don't. So there's some strings. I want to leave some, but maybe not that long. Okay, and the Super 77 got into the stringing, so it's gonna be a little sticky. So I may not want it at all since it's not fuzzy like it should be. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So how am I doing? I'm doing good. I think I'm doing good. So I think I'm going to put this patch right here. Not loving that. I'm glad I didn't take the time to run upstairs. I'm covering this all up. Hey, Sherry, I have your package ready to go in the mail tomorrow. I got your check today. So it'll be going out in the morning. Thank you for that. 
I'm sure you're anxious to get it. Okay. So, oh yeah. Now I know this isn't for everybody. I know, I know, I know. But we all have jeans and we all, well we don't all, but a lot of us have kids and just think this is a cute, a cute thing. Okay. So, loving all that, maybe I think just for the heck of it, I'm gonna just hot glue just to reinforce this. Don't have to, it feels like it was down pretty good, but over time, you know, that material is a little heavy. Let's see here. Cute, so the only thing is right here. I'm loving, so let me show you what I got so far. Okay, so it's looking good. It's looking really good. Right, I love it. Love, love, love it. And then I got this. So I thought the pockets hanging out was a cute idea, but now I don't think that. <laughs> I did think it, but I don't anymore. <laughs> so here is the belt loop. Oh boy, and that fits just perfectly. Look at that. So I kind of have to go with that because the fit is so good. But yeah, I wish I had my other pieces. Um, you know, there's only so many jeans to cut up, but I wish I had my other pieces for sure. Okay, still have a spot here. So before I go hot gluing, let me see, let me see, let me see. I might want to do that, it's kind of cute. I hate that that's the same color, but I guess that's okay. Oh yeah, that's okay, I'm looking at you. That's okay. Okay, all right, so let's put a little bit of Super 77 on there. I'm gonna put a little hot glue, just a little bit. And I know that I really only need it to cover. Yeah, I need to go down maybe just to snap. Okay, right there. You guys are gonna be walking around the house looking at your lampshades. It's broken up by the white. It is, but in person I don't love it. And maybe on camera it looks okay, but I'm not liking it. Uh, oh, I'm out of glue. Hang on, let me put a stick in here. I'm really not liking it so much. You guys seeing all these fancy glue guns people are using in their lives? I, I'm still just using the little junky ones. Oh, I got a hundred of them. I don't know that I need a fancy glue gun. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's glue this down. Oh yeah, it's, there's so many layers and lumps and bumps and I don't think, you know, it's not gonna fall off, but I, I just want it to be down really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue. Maybe go ahead and hot glue and then that way I can sleep tonight, right? <laughs> it's all about getting your sleep at night. You have the same glue gun as me? Hobby Lobby, probably. <laughs> they work fine, don't they? <laughs> okay, so. Oh, that's lifted up because it's the button. So let me, that's the other side of the flap. So let me do this. Okay. So, oh my gosh, isn't that cute as can be? Yep, Hobby Lobby. Cute as can be. I love this side. Love that. I'm looking, I'm looking to see what you guys can see. I don't know, that's pretty cool too. That's pretty cool too. I don't know. Okay, so now I have the only other place that I'm seeing anything is right here. And so I'm tempted, here's what I'm tempted to do, is to put a piece, just a patch, um, cut this off and do a patch. This one's better. Do a patch and then when I'm at the storage, get the other, get some of these where I've cut and then I put them in the washer and they frayed out 
and put that right up here. That's what I want to do. So for so for video sake, it's not going to be as awesome as once I get to the storage unit. And I've got to go there anyway. We've got a paint job coming up. I had a gal call this morning and she's got an empty uh, house that she wants to sell. And so she wants us to paint and there's several rooms so everyone can take a room, whoever wants to go. Um, so I had two girls ready to roll. So we're gonna go Monday. So I've gotta go to the paint, I gotta go to the storage unit and get my paint supplies. So while I'm there, I'll make a note to grab a button. And I think that will be a really cute little finish. Um, here, all I have here handy, I brought these down because there's so much white on, or cream on it that I thought, well, you know, a cream color button maybe would be okay, but I have actual denim buttons, which I think would be cooler. So yeah, we, I think being in different rooms, they'll be fine and nobody lives there. So um, she's gonna let the yard guys know that we're starting so that they're not gonna be working. So she's taking good care of us um, as far as distancing goes. So anyway, but, um, picking up paint, Sherwin-Williams, they just have you call and tell them you're coming and then they bring it out to you, which is nice. You know how heavy those cans are? <laughs> no, our guys carry out for us anyway, but still. Very nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna call it done for now. Just know that this is gonna get something. I'm gonna find a light wash, I'm gonna make a note, a light washed button, and I'm gonna put it right there, like that. So, and it'll have it'll have the denim, and it'll be frayed out with a square. And if I can't, by chance, can't get to the box, then, hmm, then what will I do? then I'll figure it out then. <laughs> How about that? I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the top as it is. The um, the army top, well, I did bring this down. I thought it was kind of, oh, I hate to say the word hippie, but it's kind of, <laughs> it's not hippie, but it's, um, you know, fringe, oh, here you can't see. You know, it's fringy, um, fun. Boho, that's the word I wanted. Boho, not hippie. Not hippie. I say hippie with love, right? Because, yeah. So I could, oh, maybe I better. I think I will. I think I better. I like it. All right, so I'm going to finish off the edge. Let me show you. So instead of hanging this over, which I could, but I don't think I, don't think I want to do that. I'm going to put it on the inside. And I'm gonna put that, oh wait, do I wanna do that? Hang on, let me decide. Let me just decide here. I was thinking it looked good over here. Oh, there goes his phone. At least he's in here today to get it. Let's see here. Sorry guys. Um, I don't like it that way. Maybe I better do it this way. But if I do that, then I don't need the button. What do you guys think, trim or no? Uh, okay, how are you gonna answer that? Um, give me, give me hearts if you think trim. No hearts if you don't think trim. So if I see hearts, like a bunch of them, I'll go, I'll go, I'll put the trim on. But I'm kind of thinking, no trim. I think it kind of, I don't know, it's cute though. What do you think? Yep, I'm seeing hearts now. Okay, you guys, I'm going with the, I'm going with the trim then. Thank you for the hearts, thank you. See, I love doing this. It's like I'm not alone, you know? <laughs> like I'm crafting with friends and you guys are here telling me what to do. What do you think? I love it. Thank you. So, all right. So I'm gonna lay it, I'm gonna try and lay it up here on the top edge. Let's see here. Get that blue piece out of there. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I am gonna come back on and do my tassels. As soon as I'm done here, I'll show you, uh, I think I pulled three or four tassels out of my house, what I have in my house. I use them all over the place, but I just grabbed a couple for you to see. And then I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and pull all the tassel stuff forward and we're gonna make some tassels here. 
because I have three people wanting tassels. So I'm gonna make several so they can have a they can have a pick what they want. So yeah. Okay, so I've got a little humpy there going on, a little hump. That's all right, we got what we got. Gotta keep it consistent. Ooh, I'm up over top right there. Oh, I'm really over. <laughs> I put my jeans a little higher right there. Hopefully that's going to be okay. It is what it is, so it's going to be what it is. So we're going with it. I can't, I can't do much about it now. Okay. And we're going to stop it right there. So, yeah, even though this isn't quite me i mean it's fun to make things a little different you know just just i don't know it was just an idea and i hadn't done one in denim yet so and i had all that laying there and I thought, let's just give it a whirl see how it goes oh yeah i don't love this but uh, i don't love that at all let's see i love it over here okay so see <laughs> i got a lump i got it it goes up because up. Kid's not gonna care, right? In a kid's bedroom. I still think someone will like it. And you know what? If you don't like it, you just rip it off. I should have went with just a plain. I guess I could trim it back and just keep that little. I didn't realize it was gonna do that. Hmm. Too late to. Oh, well. Now just don't panic. I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be okay. So it's a little it's a little off, but that's the front of the jeans. So maybe it's I think it's gonna be okay. Do you guys like it? Glue it down. Oh, glue the whole oh, glue all the fringe down. You mean? Hmm. I don't know. I want to glue it down. I'm not sure. I think I'll let the people glue it down. Whoever buys it, if they want to glue it down. Oops, I'm lifted up right there. Whoever wants to somebody wants to buy it, then they can glue it down. I don't know if I want to glue it down. There you go. I'm sorry, Linda. I'm not sure about gluing it down. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun sticking out like that, I think. Oh, you mean where it's high. Gotcha. Yeah, I kind of got it pressed down to where I think I was able to press it down good enough. Um, yeah. See, I think it's okay because where it's rising is right at the front of it anyway. So I think it's gonna be fine. It's adorable. Yay. I love it. So there you go. I hope you guys like it. Can you trim the bottom the top of the jeans? Um I don't know because it's the it's the thick double buttons where it's happening. So since it's kind of the front, it's almost like you know, like like the guy's collar yesterday. Of course, I got it all sticking up now, but I think I can, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> Isn't it the silliest thing you ever saw? So cute though. Oh yeah, share it, Tammy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I said that word. Darn, sprinkle it, sprinkle it. <laughs> so there you go. If you guys wanna see some other lampshades that I've made that are more me, more vintage looking uh, with my muslin shreds, um, rewatch the very beginning of this. I showed six, maybe seven, so you can see. And I also showed the finish of the, um, the uh, military one that I did. So glue the jean part down. Stick it. I need a button right there too. I don't like how that's hacked off right there. This, well, I don't know about that one either. I might have to add a bunch of buttons, but you know what? Now that I have, hang on a minute. Now that I have this cream color on here, let's just finish it off because now I have the cream color on here. I don't know that it's as important for me to have the denim ones. Hang on a minute. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be good, but. Uh, okay, I'm gonna wait till I get them. I can, if I don't like it, then I, oh, you want me to show the military now? Okay, uh, if I don't like the, um, 
uh, if I don't like the denim ones that I'm going to pick up at storage, then I'll then I'll put those on. I'm going to do it later. So we'll call that one done. She's done. Yay. I love how that, I love how that, um, where is it? There. I love how that pocket comes out and how the waistband wrapped with the other. It's so cute. I love it. You know, you get an idea in your head and there you go. That's, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought it would be like. The trim on the top. Eh. <laughs> but I had to trim it out with something and I think that that trim's fun. So, okay, here's my military uh, hats for, um, for Tina. Um, here you go, girl. So I put the collar, it just happened to fit the lampshade perfectly. I put a little trim on the inside. I put the collar on the top and then I added all of the patches. So I cut up one shirt and I also used the man's belt. Um, thank you. And I also used the belt. So um, this, I thought this was his name, like, you know, from the uniform, like if something happened, they would ha have who he was in his shirt. But somebody on here said that they thought, oh yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Um, you may want a low temperature bulb in there. Um, I had it on a lamp this morning to take pictures to send for the family. I guess I could post them. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely can for sure. Cause I mean, it's your fabric is the inside. So yeah, and, and too hot, you probably warm up the glue, but I don't think you're not gonna put a hot lamp on that, on this. But yeah, you wanna put a low temp bulb or not low temp bulb, I don't know how to make that. I mean a low watt bulb. Um, so let me show you all the way. And so for those that watched me do it, I took the picture off. It was bugging me when I lit it up. I didn't like it lit. So I added these three military buttons that I had. I had already had them. They weren't from him, but I think it's fine. Yeah, and if they don't like it, I saved the book. I'm gonna send it. I'll send. It. I'll show a picture either way. But the, I had in the in the jacket. They sent me a jacket too. And in his jacket, I found a a pay a book, and it was you know the dated and that the money went to his mother, and they were talking about insurance benefits and whatever. And then he got fifty dollars a month, and then he got raised to seventy by his commander, and it was really cool. And then there was a picture of him actually in there as well. So. Um, it was really neat. You'll have to go back, scroll back and watch the video if you want to, and you can see how I put it all together. But it was a little heartfelt there in the beginning, but I absolutely love how it turned out. So, so then about this, I'm not sure if this was a dry cleaner thing to identify his uniform or if it was a military thing, but either way, it was for him. And I thought it was awesome with the stitching in there. So I had to put that up, because that's me. So I had to put that on there. But I think it turned out really awesome and I think it'll look great um, in an office um, on, it was a gift from a sister to a brother of their dad. So um, I think it'll look great in his office. So that's all I have. Here's the two that are way out of my norm, way out of my comfort zone, but I think they turned out really cute. And um, I've got, now I've got some wire ones too that I can show you that I didn't do, um, I didn't bring you any of those down. But anyway, so there you go. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me show you. So here are the tassels that I have here. Um, this one I love, it's so special. So this one is a lamp finial on the top with a doorknob, okay, and then old lace. So this is the video I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna clean this up, give me, you know, a little bit, then I'm gonna come back on, and then I use lace, a lot of lace, all different lace, and then I have in this one, they're all different. So in this particular one though, I have, um, this was um, an old, a, a bracelet actually. This was a bracelet. So the length was perfect. And then this was just something, I, I've got another one. I don't know what it is, but it had a hook on the top and I've had it forever, but I love it in my tassel. And then these were old rosary beads from a rosary, you know, I. I had a talk, uh, who was I talking to? Was it Tammy, was it you I was talking about the rosaries with? I can't remember who it was, but somebody. And I get them, I dig them out of the bottom of old boxes. You know, really nice rosaries are quite expensive and I don't pay a lot. Usually I just get bits and parts and pieces, but I love them and I love the fact that it was special to someone and that I'm bringing it out um, 
to enjoy again. So this one's mine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I'm gonna make some to, to sell. And then this is, um, we decided, I wasn't sure, I thought it was a car dealership would put your key, um, you know, and then this would go in a rack and it's numbered. But I had two or three of you message the other night that you think these were from swimming, um, swimming or roller skating, where they would identify your stuff and you would trade. So no, I this I I was only dabble. So I wasn't gonna show you. I will I will um, show you the ones that I'm making. Oh, thank you, Helena. Yes, it was you then that I was talking to about that. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad because it's not my intention. It's my intention to bring it back to life and to enjoy it, right? So this is an old, um, it's a nautical uh, buoy of some sort. It's a floater, I think, for a fishing net. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but something like that. Again, this one's mine. <laughs> so let's just, because you guys have to know that I'm using real antique things, like authentic things. I'm not using um, reproduction things. And so... You know, some, like, I might have paid $15 for that round thing. And then, you know, you add the lamp finial for five and then the knob for two. And then, you know, the rosary thing was probably five. You know, I'd probably have $40 in this. So, you know what I mean? So, I know that I can't sell these for that. Now that you girls are getting to know, like, a lot of you ordered supplies to do your own. And um, I've been selling it, um what I got in it, trying to move out some of my stuff. But um, anyway, uh, they add up. <laughs> this old lace is not cheap. So, um, and I try, you know, when I'm making things for me, I have a Tammy box, a Tammy stash that is all the really good stuff. Because when you're first starting, you don't know, you know, you're like, I started and I didn't know the difference. And now as I get going, I'm showing you guys like the best of the best. Um, that is what you like to do with the old stuff. Yeah, just repurpose it. Um, but anyway, this is this I made big because I have a great big breadboard. It's huge. It's old. I mean, I love all my old breadboards. And it needed something. And my friend Julie was over here and she's like, why don't you make a giant tassel with it? And I'm like, oh, what would I use for the top? Because the tops are really important. Like, let me show you something. Like, this is my jar of tops. Like, this is all tassel tops. Actually, it says it right there. <laughs> tassel tops. This is all for me to make tassels for you guys. Or if you guys want to make tassels, I'll sell you some. Whatever. Um, but you can just use Hobby Lobby ribbon. You don't have to use all this old stuff. But then in this one, I kept it really simple. So this was Julie's idea to make a giant one and to use this. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I had these in a bowl down in my basement because my basement's kind of nautical. And so, I, yeah, I was tickled to death. And she loved it when I had to send her a picture. I was so excited. Now, this isn't old, but I love the shimmer of it. This is from, um, there you go. It's from Hobby Lobby. But it's it's just, you can see... It's shiny on one side, there's the shiny side, and then it's just like point, there, there. It's, I don't know what you call it, but I found this at Hobby Lobby. So there's two strips of that and just one extra long old skeleton key, and that's it, but I absolutely love it. And I try to position it like that so you can see the key and just maybe get a hint of the sparkle. I try to find the sparkle and bring it forward, but I absolutely love this one. Like this would be a lot, because this has got a ton of lace. So, all right, so there's that one. So those are mine, I'm just showing you mine. Now this one, I loved when I made it. Now I'm a little bit over it, so. I've added to it to make it longer for the particular lamp I have it on. I put them on the knobs of the lamps is what I do with them. Or I put them on cabinet doors um, or drawers. Anything that's got something sticking out in my house usually has a tassel on it. So this one has just, um, I used old rusty bolt. And then this is a wood, an old wood, some I don't even know what it is probably a finial off of a curtain rod oh and there's a couple washers on there and then another bolt because we always like to decorate the tops and then it's just this time I use mostly seam binding a little piece of lace and some pearls and then I've got some bells some old rusty bells and a little wooden button so that's what's in this one so anyway um, and I added a little bit of black whoops that goes down and I, never, I don't like to glue these down because I like to be able to change 
what I'm gonna hang it from. So obviously I've added on to this one. Um, but yeah, so even just the twine, I left the twine extra long, there's a string of twine and I just put a knot in the bottom of it. So just to inspire you guys and let you know that that's what I'm gonna be doing next is making some more. Um, I pulled, I didn't bring all of my little goodies down, but I pulled a whole bag full of tie-on things. So um, for example, I've got a couple of keys. I've got some old pocket watches. I have a faucet. I thought that was cool, an old faucet. I'm gonna make a whole bunch. Um, a lot, I brought several um, clock faces and here's a tire, an old tire gauge. Um, some keys, some little lock things. I don't know, so I don't know how many I'm gonna make. A couple padlocks. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many I'm gonna make, but we'll see. But that's the plan. Oh, and I brought, I've got a whole bag of old springs. So I thought maybe I'll put an old spring, hang an old spring off of one. And then I brought two boxes of jewelry for necklaces. This is my gold and silver drawer. And this is my rhinestone drawer. So we'll do some rhinestone things. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So anyway, that's what's going to happen here in just a little bit. So if you want to catch it, um, I don't know what time. Just give me a minute to clean I want to clean up the first mess before I start another one. So I just need to um, get the spray bottle out of here. It won't be very long. Get a drink, you know, run to the restroom, whatever. <laughs> so I'll be back. Hi, Shayla. Thank you. I don't think you have one of my tassels yet, do you? Shayla is a great lady. How are you doing, honey? How are you, Shayla? I wonder about you sometimes. I hope you're okay and the dogs are okay. She's a really nice lady. She lets us come and decorate for her every season. So, um, yeah, her house is beautiful. Well, if I do say so. <laughs> her beautiful things and my touches, it's top notch, right? <laughs> all right, well, I'll, I'll look back through all the comments. I'm not gonna hold everybody up for you and I to chat, but um, you guys take care and I'll see you just in a little bit and we'll make some, we'll make some tassels and I'll show you how. See you later, bye.